No, I don't think any of us have that thought. Um, I don't know. Excuses, we didn't play well tonight. We got a couple days in between, regroup, and worry about the next one on Friday. What did you see as, as the biggest issues tonight? Uh, I think just overall sloppy. I think uh, just a lot of turnovers that field, field their offense, I think, uh, especially in the first. Um, I mean, they're, they're a good team off the rush. You give them chances on the rush, they're going to they're gonna take advantage of them. So I think that was, uh, that was a big key. I thought you know, we did a little bit better as the game went on of just using the walls, but clearly not good enough. I mean, how, how do you guys go about cleaning that up? Like, what did you see as the issues as far as breaking the puck out and what, the things that were leading to those turnovers? Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's just not not always going to be pretty. It's not always going to be a, a sexy East-West game. Sometimes you're going to just have to take your medicine. There's no play to be made. Chip the puck out, live the fight another day. Um, I think uh, we got better as it went on, I think, a little bit. But we're going to get that more in our game, and it'll help us out in the long run. Jacob, it seemed like you guys were missing Ryan Lindgren for, for a time in, the, in that, uh, I guess, in the first period, and, and also Reeves. Um, does that kind of discombobulate you a little bit? I mean, when you lose a forward, and then you lose a defenseman for, for a period of years, you kind of mixing up lines and stuff? Um, a little, little bit. I mean, there's just a little more communication of guys moving around, but uh, not much. I mean, every every team deals with injuries mid-game, um, whether it's our team or their team. Everybody everybody goes through it. So, um, as a hockey player, it's something you just learn learn to deal with. So, how are you feeling? Not bad. Would have been better with a win, but uh, nice to be out there. It's not fun to miss time. Not really used to it. So, it was a little bit uh, tough to deal with because I haven't really missed many games. So. Different, uh, you know, different, something different, but here we are. If you wouldn't mind sharing, was it, did you have a positive test? Yeah, I did. Yeah. yeah. Did you have, were you asymptomatic? No, I had symptoms. Yeah, that's why I had to miss 10 days, so, so as you can hear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, how did you feel about your condition? And felt pretty good. Felt pretty good. I think um, a lot of thanks to the training staff and the organization. They did a great job of taking care of me and getting me ready to go. I felt pretty good out there, um, personally. So, I mean, it's never easy to miss 10 days. and. Um, you know, mentally and physically, but um, you know, I thought my physical conditioning was was good. So, um, a lot of credit to them. The Rangers do a really good job of uh, supporting us through all these things, and whether it's trainers or nutritionists, there's a, a really good support team. So, I owe a lot of thanks to them. They were uh, a great day for sure. You skated over three miles tonight on the ice. The broadcast announced. Just can you tell us what you did in this time to just kind of maintain that physical condition? It's a secret. <laughs> no, just uh, just like a lot of the assault bike and just as much as you can, eating healthy. So I got a lot of time to sleep, obviously, which is good. So like I said, a lot of credit to them. With, like the strength team and everyone was really supportive. And um, it makes it a little bit easier because, like I said, uncharted waters for me a little bit. You, you mentioned you haven't missed a lot of games in the last few years. When you have, I don't know if you call it a chance, but when you're watching games on television, looking at it from that perspective, I mean, did you pick things up during that time, especially that you felt like you could help me out of your back? Oh, uh, yes and no. I think I'm always watching games and stuff, so it's not really that different other than I wasn't playing them. I'm always watching hockey and re-watching our game, our shifts and stuff like that, so I'm, I think I'm pretty conscious of what's going on out there, but... You know, there's little things you pick up on. I was really proud of the way our team played. I thought it was a really gritty effort on the road. Um, real nice to, uh, you know, sit back and watch them win games. It was, it was nice. It's, you feel a little bit guilty when you're not out there with your teammates and you can't be a part of it. And um, it's a little bit frustrating, but for them to, you know, pull out a few wins was great. And uh, really happy that the way everyone came together and it sounds like they had a good time on the trip. And you know, it was a good, good, good four games. What do you think happened in the, you know, in the game tonight? I just don't think we put it together for 60 minutes, unfortunately. I think we had stretches where we were good and we uh, controlled the play, had some chances, and we didn't score on those chances. And then in the third period, we kind of pushed a little bit and tried to tried to play catch up and got away from our game a bit. And you know, unfortunately, in this league, you got to play 60 minutes, and they're a team that plays pretty sound defensively. And then as soon as there's a turnover, they strike, and we we made too many turnovers and fueled their offense a little bit. So uh, a little bit frustrating, obviously, especially coming back. You know, you want to try to help the team out and to, to lose a game kind of sucks, but. We'll get back out. We got a couple of days of practice here to get after it and be ready to go for Friday. No, he just wanted to sit on the bench and be part of the group. He, like he said, he missed most, of the, almost all the game. He had one shift, so, but uh, you know, most of the time you stay in the locker room. But he just wanted to be on that bench and supporting the guys. Were you surprised at all that he wanted to come back out there? I mean, I, I know what he needs to this team. Yeah, you don't have to do it too often, but uh, you know, Weaver was a new teammate and he wanted to be there to support them, and he was disappointed he couldn't play.
you know, Calgary's a big physical team, and you miss up a body like him in the lineup. But that's what happens. Injuries are part of the game. How about Lindgren? We weren't really sure what. He was fine. He came back and finished up. Upper body, upper body. He's fine. Yeah. There's, no, there's no. I think he blocked the shot. Yeah. I'm not sure. To be honest with you, I'm not sure where. To, yeah. But I know the trainers come back and said he's fine. So I didn't even. It's not even an issue for yeah. me. But I'm not sure where, honestly. Is the first game after a long road trip more difficult than a typical home game? The first period was, you know, I mean, uh, we've just made so many bad turnovers in the first period, trying to make cute plays instead of the strong plays up the boards, and it really costs us. Even though the only, I think it was one nothing up to the first, am I correct? Mm -hmm. You know, but we made a lot of turnovers, and Chesky had to be unbelievable in that first period. So I think that really cost us the hockey game, even though we got back in the third period and made it 2-1, but uh, that first period was a tough one to watch. So turn turnovers are what you see as the biggest issue tonight? The major issue. Like, we had the puck on our stick, and I think they had 15 shots in the first period, but they had 10 scoring chances, you know, in the slot area, in that red zone area. And, uh, and a lot of them were, you know, us trying to make a play. And when there's no play to be made, and they forechecked really hard and made us turn the puck over. So they were the hungrier team in the first period. And after that, I thought we played better, even though they got three late. But. Do you think that having played so many games in so few days, 7 and 12, something to do with it? I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I don't like making excuses, but I sure hope so. And there's no doubt. I think we played the most games in the league and, you know, with all that travel. But, again, I'm not making excuses. If you want to write that, go ahead. <laughs> what was the thought between flipping Lafreniere and, and Gauthier? I thought about it before the game, to be honest with you, just at different line combinations. And I thought Gauthier played really well tonight. You know, he made a few mistakes, but I thought he banged the body, he skated, he made some really good plays. So I just wanted to change things up a little bit. What do you, what do you, what do you think he adds to to Zibanejad and Kreider, then why do you like him now? Yeah, no, I'm, again, I just wanted to shake it up a little bit. I thought he deserved more his time. I thought he was skating really well. He made a couple good plays, cross-crease plays there that I think the blazer, but I'm not sure. So I just, I like the way he played most of the game. You know, he, he did make a couple of mistakes in the D zone, like a lot of our guys did, but I thought it was his best game for us. And, you know, you want to reward a guy a little bit sometimes. And, and I didn't really like the way our first period went. I want Laffy doing more. It seemed like you guys struggled a bit through the neutral zone. I'm curious if you saw if it was something that they were doing or if it was. I, I thought, yeah, I, I, for me, the biggest thing was our D zone. We didn't break out of our D zone clean at all. And I agree with you, and the neutral zone wasn't good either because we had to flip too many pucks in there. So usually we don't want to be flipping pucks into the neutral zone. We want to be flipping pucks into their zone. So I think the D zone caused the neutral zone stuff also. Did, did you think Strong looked look good coming back? He was fine. I mean, can't say anybody looked good, but uh, no, he was. He played probably a few more minutes than he had to, but we were chasing the game, you know, and I thought he was fine out there.